Tap on the GPS icon. You will see your vehicle or asset device. The color borders that appear in yellow indicate that the device is in an unknown state until the device is moved or taken outside of the geofence area you set up. When the device is moved or taken outside of the geofence, the thumbnail border will appear in red. When the device is within a blue border, this is when the device is unplugged. When the device is within the geofence area, the color border will appear in green. Tap on the wrench you would like to edit. You can name your vehicle or asset device. Choose a vehicle or asset icon. If you choose a vehicle icon, you have the option to change the color of the vehicle. If you choose an asset icon, there is no color selection to choose from. Just tap on the asset image you prefer. In this example, we will select a default vehicle image. Choose the color gray and name the car John's Car. Another cool option tracking services offer is the ability to insert your own car image or asset image. Tap on the camera icon, locate your image, and insert. Tap Save when you are done. How to set up your tracking services devices. Please contact your security professional if features shown are not available. At this point, you can set up features for your device. We're going to walk through what an enhanced plan offers. Talk to your security provider about your service plan. Tap the View Map icon for the device you want to set up. For this example, we will select John's Car. A new browser of a map will open. You will now see your vehicle or asset icons on the right side of the screen. Tap on the vehicle or asset image you want to set up features for. To create a geofence, type in the address of where you want to create the geofence and then tap the search icon. The location will appear as a pin on the map. Tap on the pin to display the address. Use the zoom in or zoom out capability on the map to help you determine the area in which you wish to create the geofence. You may also zoom in or zoom out of the map using your fingers. You can toggle between map or satellite view. In this example, we will choose the map option. To remove the address display, tap on the X. Tap the geofence icon to create a geofence. Then tap on Create Geofence. Use the drawing tools located in the upper left-hand corner of the map to create your geofence. You have the option to draw a rectangle or a freeform shape. In this example, we will use the freeform shape tool. Tap on the freeform shape tool and then tap your finger on the map to create your first border point. You will see a circle as a starting point for your geofence. Now place your finger where you want to have the first point go to. You will now see a line forming. Continue to tap your finger where you want the geofence points to connect. You can create up to eight border points to close the freeform shape. Be sure to tap the first point you made to complete the geofence. If your geofence is too small, you will get a pop-up notification. Tap Save Geofence. A pop-up box will appear so you can name your geofence. In this example, we will type John's House. You may choose both or Entry Only or Exit Only to receive alerts on when your vehicle or asset enters or exits the established geofence you set up. Tap Save Geofence. Tap OK to continue. Your geofence will appear in the geofence section. You have the option to edit or delete a geofence. Tap the geofence icon to close the geofence section. Tap the info icon to set a speed limit. In this example, we will type in 55 miles per hour. Then tap set and then tap set it. In the Info icon, you can also see what your current plan is. In this example, you have the Enhanced plan. By tapping the Locate Now icon, you can locate your vehicle or asset. 
A box will appear asking you if you are sure you want to use a Locate Now. Tap Locate Now if you wish to locate the vehicle or asset. Once you tap Locate Now, you will then see that the vehicle or asset is pending while it searches for its location. The search should only take a few minutes. The results of the Locate Now appear in the Events section under Path. Tap the Info icon to close the Info section. Tap the Events icon. Once the vehicle or asset is located, the address will appear in the Path sections of the event. By tapping the All Events icon, you can view all events. Tapping Path shows the route or breadcrumbing of a vehicle or asset. Tapping Stop shows when and where the vehicle or asset stopped. Tapping Exceptions show when a vehicle or asset entered or exited a geofence, when the speed limit set was exceeded, or when the device's power was reconnected or disconnected. Tap the Events icon to close the Events section. Tap on the Reports icon to see the location, stop, and exception information for a given period of time. Tap on the Events Report icon. You have the option to choose a date range to see the events that occurred for that vehicle during the date range you select. In this example, we will choose July 31st through September 2nd. Select which vehicle, then tap Submit. The events for this time frame will be displayed. To close out the All Events report, tap the X in the upper right-hand corner of the box. Then hit the Reports icon to close the report section. To see history of your vehicle or asset tracker, tap Devices and then tap on the device you would like to see history for. In this example, we will select John's car. Tap on the device icon to close the devices icon. Then tap the history icon to view the history of where the vehicle or asset has been. You can choose a specific date to see the history. You have a 90-day history to view from. You can choose the day by scrolling through month, day, or year. In this example, we will choose July 31st. Then tap Set Date and then tap the History icon again to collapse the History menu. You will now see the activity of the vehicle or asset for that day. By tapping the Events icon, you can also view the Path, Stops, and Exceptions. If at any point you would like to see a street view, place your finger on the Person icon and drag it to the street you would like to view. The Person icon must be dragged to a street for viewing. You can pan up, down, left, or right by using the pan arrows seen here to move which way you would like the map to go. To exit this view, tap on the X in the upper right corner of the screen.